Welcome back to my DIY Bitcoin node and analysis series. In the last video, we went through the process of installing Bitcoin Core, and today we're going to explore the Bitcoin Core graphical user interface. If you're just joining us and haven't installed Bitcoin Core yet, be sure to check out the previous video where I walk you through the process step by step. The link for that video is in the description below. Today, we'll be covering three main topics. First, we'll create a new wallet. Then, we'll explore the interface and its main components. And finally, we'll look at how to send and receive Bitcoin. When you first launch Bitcoin Core, you'll be presented with this screen. If your node is still synchronizing with the blockchain, you'll see a progress bar at the bottom showing how far along you are. To create a new wallet, click on the Create a New Wallet button. You'll then see this dialog where you can specify your wallet name. I'll name mine BTC underscore one but you can choose whatever name makes sense for you. Here, you have a few options. Disable private keys. Leave this unchecked, as we want to be able to spend from this wallet. Make blank wallet. Leave this unchecked as well, as we want a standard wallet with addresses. Encrypt wallet. I highly recommend checking this for security purposes. This will require you to enter a password whenever you want to send Bitcoin. I'll keep this unchecked though for this tutorial. Now, Let's explore the main components of the Bitcoin Core interface. At the top of the window, you'll see several tabs, Overview, Send, Receive, and Transactions. To send and receive, simply use the Send or Receive tab. To receive Bitcoin, I'll go ahead and create a receiving address. Add a label if you want, like Demo Receive. Then click on the Create New Receiving Address to display the QR code. Share this address with who wants to send you Bitcoin. Remember, they'll need to cover the transaction fee, not you as the receiver. That's it for our overview of the Bitcoin graphical user interface. We've covered how to create a wallet, navigate the interface, send and receive Bitcoin. This should give you a solid foundation for managing your Bitcoin using the core client. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos in this series. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. In the next video, we'll go over how to query the Bitcoin blockchain. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.